This is the courthouse in Worsley, which is a little town nestled in the western fringe of Salford on the Bridgewater Canal. We're about halfway between Boothstown to the west and Trafford to the east. The canal runs under Junction 12 on the M60, which circles Manchester around Salford. The junction was built here in the 60s and split the town right through the middle. Talking to the locals, it's not really a surprise to hear that the junction really changed the feel of the place quite dramatically for them. And both the Bridgewater Canal and the Liverpool Manchester Railway have stories here and both also played their parts in the generation development of Worsley beyond its peat bog base, Iron Age and Roman beginnings. And once you get off the main road and down to the towpath, everything changes. You really are on canal time, even when under the motorway bridge. A friend once told me she saw a chap shuffling along the towpath here, happily taking his ferry for a walk. The Bridgewater is not part of the Canal River Trust network, and being on here has a very different feel to being on the CRT canals that I've been on. It's pretty wide and brown due to the iron in the mines, and boats are certainly unafraid of opening up. But I've really seen less boats in general on here. This is the Worsley Delve, and the entrance to the mines and the Worsley levels are to the right of the large black and white packet house at the back. If you don't come down here to the canal or you're just driving through Worsley, you really would be forgiven for missing all of this. This is the other side of the Delft. There have been workmen carrying out renovations here from the end of last year and change is happening super quickly. I've seen huge slops of mud removed from the canal by cranes and slapped onto the banks and then paved over. Order is definitely being restored and tamed for posterity. You can see the progress over the course of roughly four weeks taking place in this footage. Now the levels are underground navigable canals for lifting the coal out of the mines. There are two entrances to the levels here on either side of the dock. Originally there was only one entrance but an extra was added to manage the floating traffic. Now you'll only be allowed up to the little path on the right. Really nice to get a bit close to the action. The entrances to the levels will still remain closed off which is a bit of a shame. It would have been fun to have a mooch around and see what it was like under the ground. Those thin outlines on the deck and floating to the right of the cranes represent the starvationers and they were the small boats they used to carry the coal out of the mines and the giant object in the middle is a replica of the original crane which was on site. And coal has been dug in Worsley since around 1376 and a sow had been used to drain the water out from the mines. It wasn't until 1757 when Francis Egerton took the reins as the third Duke of Bridgewater that the action in Worsley really began to heat up. He's the chap who had the idea, along with John Gilbert, to build the Bridgewater Canal between Worsley and Salford to feed the hunger for coal in Manchester at the time and then to extend the canal underground which along with draining the water from the mines also fed the canal itself. The canal was completed in 1764 and as the levels began to sort of spider out underground and extend the original sow was converted to an upper level and an incline was dug and deeper levels added and this all continued until 1968 when the whole enterprise was eventually closed down around the same time as the motorway junction was built. And here you can see the alphabet bridge which crosses to the old school. It's being restored with 26 planks, one for each letter, so kids could cross and learn their ABCs. Worsley is a lovely spot which has been radically changed by the canal and again changed by the motorway. I will definitely stop by here again once the work is fully completed. <laughs>